Yorkasa, welcome back to my channel. Here you are with Dairoku, and now I am playing Ori and the Blind Forest. As you can see, it's the Definitive Edition. So welcome to the new series, everybody. There is a new Ori game out at the moment, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisp. So I figured it was about time that I actually got into the series. I wanted to get into the original so that I can appreciate the second one. So I want to give a big thanks to Incrugator for introducing this to me and at least reminding me that it existed. Uh, when it came out a few years ago, so many people in my friends list were going, Oh, Ori, 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 Ori. Really should play Ori. And yeah, okay, I'm, I'm a few years late to the party. But with a new Ori game out, I figured it's well worth the time to start exploring the series. So... First of all, let's jump in. That's just my test run, just to make sure that the systems are all working. We seem to be going, so I hope that this computer can hack it. So, let us begin the story. And we're going to play on normal difficulty, because I figure normal is what the game wants us to do. Okay, we shall always remember the night. We lost Ori to the Great Storm. Well, there's definitely words in that language. Ooh. So the tree motif, world tree motif, one I'm quite familiar with. So did the storm blow off a leaf and this leaf presumably is Ori I think that might be the great tree he's talking okay oh so, I'm this big guy here, and apparently, because we're looking into the story, his name is Naru. Oh, we could do a little bit of jumping. Not a lot, though. I mean, got a bit of that, bit of a paunch. I mean, look at that, look at the way the belly moves. The graphics in this game are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we can jump over little things. Oh! Alright. Here we are. We now have embraced my light. is a child of her own. Oh, are we Ori now? Apparently so. Gosh, this game is just... The sprites are so expressive. I'm only tilting the stick ever so lightly, and it's this cute little trot. It's just the big eyes, and... This game is just absolutely gorgeous. I just hope that my recording is doing the justice that it deserves. X is on trees. I wonder if that's a good sign. Shades of Fern Gully here. Oh. Hello, Naru. Ah. So presumably the cross means that that's uh, a tree that's... ...and look for for food. So that's a lot of trees that are currently out of food then. 
Maybe we're supposed to keep going on, but... My game of sensing tells me what happens if I turn back. We're riding our ears back. This is... The music is just so... Full of warmth and love. Okay. Presumably we just keep going. Oh, plenty of trees over here with food. So we build a bridge. And we help ourselves to all the fruit of the forest. But what's that? Well, what's this way? I don't know. Oh, we want to take that back, but that was a lot of lighting just then. Well, don't eat too much. Leave yourself some. Okay. On that fateful night. When I lit the skies ablaze. I called out to Ori. Like that. Ooh. Naru's being rather possessive. Yet hope never came. Hang on. Everything has died. Everything's died. Did something bad happen? Ooh. One last thing of fruit. It's going to be left for Ori. The tree's gone. And the forest is dead. Something cataclysmic just happened and we sheltered in a cave from it. Through the passage of time... There's nothing left in the... Oh, there's something up there. That's out of reach. Life withered and decayed. When the, was when the forest was blind. Let's try and get that fruit ourselves. Just 
still hope showed its face. Now let's take this bundle back. Showing us memories. Oh! Oh, what are you in the foreground there? We ran... Because it's a cataclysm. Okay, Nari. But there's no response. Wake up, Nari. Oh, no. Oh no. An orphan once more. No reason to stay. I have control again. Sad and alone and weak. Searching for my light. Let's feel. Standing up, just getting balance. It's just so hard right now. Oh my goodness. You poor thing. Come on, you can do it. Oh, goodness. Cries were met with silence. Gingerly stepped through these thorns. Okay. I think we might have injured ourselves then. Hope went astray. Come on, you can make it. Oh no. Come on. And my child strength faltered. Oh wow. It's a struggle. Oh. No, not you too. Well, something amazing is happening. Flowers all around. Calling out to the great tree.
Indeed. And that's it. Well, how was that for having your heartstrings pulled, folks? Finally, we have control of Ori. And we're in the game proper now. That looks like a health meter down there. Go left and right. Okay. That does not look friendly. All those thorns there. So, A to jump. And presumably that's it we can do right now. I'm pressing B and it's not doing anything, so presumably that's an ability we have to unlock. So I get the feeling that this is a sort of a Metroid-esque field. You sort of go through, get stronger, get more abilities, go back to areas you previously visited, use those abilities. Oh, okay. Hold A to jump higher. Guess so that we can get through here. Into the Sunken Glades. Alright. Well, I see some things up there. I just love how well Ori just sort of interacts with the environment around him. Well, I'm assuming him. Could be her, could be it, could be them. I don't know. Well, that was cool. Press down and do a backflip. It's nice. That does not look friendly. I might just stay away from that. So I guess we unlock abilities to unlock new areas. So can I make this jump? Oh, not quite. Maybe I need to jump just a fraction later. But spiky things look... deadly. Or maybe... I need to get a bit of a run up. Okay. Nope. Nope. I think we'll have to wait until we can do some sort of double jump, maybe. Hold down and press A to jump down through platforms. Oh, hello. I just got an achievement called So Many Secrets. Found a small spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to my meter. Find more spirit light containers to quickly gain ability points. Okay. So that's the thing. So we're not always going to see secrets immediately until we get close. I mean, can I jump up into there, perhaps? No, doesn't seem like we can. All right. So let's go down through here. Oh, okay. If I land on that, that might be deadly. But I think I've trapped myself there and that's probably going over the thing I need to jump up. Hmm. Right, well, we're stuck down here for now. Oh. That's a thing. Why is there that growing up there? Oh. Oh, the water dynamics are nice. Okay. Now, are you friendly? Or are you deadly? There's only one way to find out. Okay, life shards. So that's a thing. Yeah, those purple things don't look friendly. Now, what happens if I go underwater? Oh, okay. Right. So, swimming is out of the question for now. Let's jump over those thorns. Oh, what's this? Well, it's not purple or red, so presumably it's okay. Found an energy cell. I can now collect and use more energy. Remember that you can use energy to create a soul link and save your game. Hold B to create a soul link and save your game. Okay. 
Oh, but then it takes a little while for it to recharge. So I guess as I guess I save at certain places like that. Oh, that bounces about. Does it achieve anything else, or is it... It's just their part of the scenery. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Okay, you're coming after me, and I don't appreciate that. Alright. That's what I needed to do. Okay, very Metroid feel to this, actually. Some more Spirit Lighter. When I fill the meter, I gain an ability point. And I'm just shy. Nope, can't go in this little hollow it came out of. So what have we got down here? Hey, I see something down there. I want it. Soul Link is ready. Create Soul Link and tap B near it to access the ability tree. Ah! Okay. So I need to... So more so apparently... I choose what abilities I want. Okay, so there's three trees. So, of course, the further down we go, the more we need. It allows me to shoot three flames before recharging. Okay, most pickups now float to Ori. Allows reusing soul links and shortens the cooldown timer. Well, actually, this one seems to be the most useful. So, achievement unlock choices, choices. Alright. So now what can I do? Or do I have to wait for my ability to recharge? Okay. So how... what do I do? Ah! So controls... Spirit Flame X. Alright. So we can't seem to do that yet. Deep in the forest, Ori found what was lost. Okay. Presumably this. Press X to pick up the tiny light. Oh, my strength is returning. I am sane. Sane, sane, sane. I'm going to say sane. The light and the eyes of the spirit tree. I was lost in this glen when she loosened her grip. I can guide you on your journey if you allow me to come. But be still, can you hear that? They must have followed you here. Oh. Oh. Here we are. Okay, so this is how we do combat. Oh. Sort of access experience points. Okay. Alright, who else? Oh, too close. No, I don't want to access the ability tree right now. Did 
The light shall return to me, these words the spirit tree once said. In the glade past the caverns, we'll find him. There's a path up ahead. Oh. Oh! We've got the map unlocked. Okay. Yep, I'm getting a lot of shades of Metroid from this. Alright, so you can see the world map and then the local area map. That's our objective. That's where we are. Oh, look at all the things there are out there. Okay. That's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. So presumably we've got to use the spirit light thing on those purple things. So that we're able to get up to Hollow Glade. Find the spirit tree. And now that I have Sane... Yep, well I already have, thank you. So... Can I do it on... Ooh. Yes, please. Alright. Yeah, I'll take the ability points and the heals. Thank you. Can I attack the mushroom? No. Yes! I can attack those things. And you? Alright. Oh, you don't look friendly. Soul Link is ready. But do I want to? Oh! Ouch! Found an energy shard that restored power to the energy cells. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I think that was our first death. Yeah, that, that, that kind of hurt. Alright. So, presumably we still have the, um... Yep, we still have the quick flame. I don't know if we have all of our ability points left. So, not much in the way of hit points, it seems. Presumably there's a way for that to increase, though. Oops. Gotta get a bit of a run up. There we are. Oh, no. Come on. Here we are. Oh. Wow. Okay. Jumping is... a bit... Precise in this game, I think. Well, let's just leave that alone until we need it. Okay, let's deal with these... ...slugs. Now, if you can get over my head... ...then I'll be able to pick up your goodies. Like that. Okay. Good. Now, how do we get up to that one there? I want to get up to that thing. She won't let me. Okay. I want to get rid of these things. Ooh, a new ability point. Create a soul link and tap B near to access the ability tree. Okay. So what is this thing? Spirit wells are ancient structures that were used to quickly traverse all of Nibble. 
The light of the spirit bulbs will also replenish your strength whenever you are weary. Okay, so this is basically like our warps and hyperlight drifter. Beautiful. So how do we get up there? Hmm. Oh. Oh, they jump even higher. Can I get more ability points from you, even if I killed you before? Yes! Nice. Okay. I sense a farming opportunity. Ouch. Okay. Now let's throw in an ability. Uh, it allows for using soul links and shortens the cooldown timer. Well, that would be nice, but I think I want that. Then I don't have to worry about things falling underground. Okay, let's get rid of you. Ooh, it's sort of a rock thing there now. Come on. Okay, I can't destroy the thorns. Presumably we can't get back that way. So we can make that double jump. Interesting. Oh. Hello. You want to come down here and fight me? I want your yummy ability points. Come on. Oi! Oh, hey. I'm down here. Ow. Ow. I am a lot weaker than I actually give myself credit for. Got to remember that. So I wonder if there's some way to increase the strength of my quick flames, or my spirit flames. Come on then. Come at me, bro. Come on, then. Oh, hello. This actually sort of swing back and forth a bit. Maybe if I can get it to swing back and forth... ...just the right amount. Gotcha. Right. That felt very satisfying. Okay. Let's go through the door here. We can get to... Oh. Okay, so if it's lit like that, apparently we can... Grab it. So maybe there's more things we can grab. What is this? Keystone. Keystones are used to open spirit gates. Remember that each spirit gate will require a different number of keystones. Okay. 
So now that I have one, maybe I can open another one. Alright, well let's... Get you. Is there anywhere I can warp to yet? No, apparently not. So spirit worlds are different from spirit gates. Okay. Alright, well folks, in the next episode I'm going to continue exploring the Sunken Glade and make our way to the spirit tree. So until I see you next time, I'll see you next time.